Hey guys, Finn here. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial video on Ableton and Bias FX since they both work so well on congruency. When you buy Bias FX, for instance, you get Ableton Live 10 Lite for free. So, like me, I want to get set up and recording as quick as possible. Since people have so many questions and are still unclear about this, I hope I can shed some light on you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just dive right in, okay? This version is for Windows 10, by the way. So, yeah, that's clear. Now, as you'll see in Ableton, there's a button for Arrangement View and Session View. It's these two here. We're going to be using Arrangement View uh, for the purpose of this video. So, if you uh, open a program and you find that uh, you don't see any bias plugins, uh, don't worry. I kind of panicked the same, same way, but uh, we will fix this. So, uh, go into your Options, click Preferences. Now, uh, first go to audio. Make sure that your, your driver types are set up. Uh, ASIO if you're on Windows 10. And uh, your audio device. Mine is a Focusrite since I use a Focusrite. So uh, now we'll go to plugins. This is, the, uh, this is the crucial part really here, so pay attention. <laughs> Not in class, but pay attention. Make sure your custom folder uses the proper files, either 32-bit or 64-bit. So this is where this comes into play. This is the crucial part since it's commonly, commonly, commonly overlooked. I cannot stress that enough. 32-bit systems are set to the program files 86 folder. Okay? That's respective. And 64-bit system is set to standard programs folder. Program files 64-bit, 86x, 32-bit. Okay? So most of you are on 64-bit. Well, not most of you, but a lot of you are on 64-bit. So you want program files, not 86. So just make sure to match that up. And also make sure to click the Use Plugin Custom Folder. All right? Or it's not going to use it. Check that to on. And if it doesn't, and if, uh, if it doesn't work, or just uh, just click Rescan, and it should. Now to actually record, I have this all set up already, but to record, this is automatically set to off by default. So either click auto or in. Click solo and click your arm recording. And you should be all set up to record for this. Now we're going to head over to bias. And help you guys get that working. Now the most important things we want in bias is A. I want to hear my guitar. B. I want to make sure it sounds like it should. So, to do that, we'll first go into the audio settings, just like the other program. Driver type, same, ASIO. Output type, the same, focus right. I've got stereo, so I'm using outputs one and two. Uh, the sample rate, I got a little higher than 44.1. I got mine at 48. Uh, it sounds perfect to me. 44.1 sounded muddy. Um, I got it at a, ha a, a higher sample rate. I might need to fix that in the future, though. Uh, but Bias FX2 is a fantastic program that is its just crazy. It allows you to do so much. Um, but first, we'll get to the basics. The Tone Cloud is uh, very cool. It shows the featured artists. For, I don't know if it's just this month or whatever. A lot of awesome featured artists. So you can download their tones to add to your pedal board. You can also look up tones so you can look up whatever you want petrucci satriani and it'll actually give you their tones i've spent hours going through here you can sort it by time uh alphabet or po i usually go by popularity because that usually shows me what most people are using so click the home button to go back into your uh, main area here you can add pedals if you so wish to <laughs> You can clear the board if you so wish to. Uh, be sure to use Quick Snap. This is very overlooked. It's a very great mechanic. Um, this is set to a distortion. This is a clean and so forth. To do that, just make your tone and then just click this button in and just hold it in and it'll save. Just go back to this one and it'll give you your other tone and then go back and it'll give you your other one. Now you can set this to MIDI controllers. I'm sure you can. So keep a lookout out there. But that's what I wanted to show you guys. That's the most crucial stuff I found. And if you guys have questions, just leave in a comment below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll be releasing more of these videos in the future. 
And thank you guys for watching.